guys, it's been about a week since I filmed last. Let me update you on how our house is looking. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. We have a lot of new people here, so I'd like to welcome you guys and uh, thank you for joining along on our little family's journey. We recently moved into a new build and I, I just gotta say right now, I feel like a new, brand new person. Juan got home from work and allowed me to just get away and take a bath and I was able to use like this gift that I got so long ago and it was just, it was well needed. Um, I feel a little bit more rejuvenated and hopefully I will have enough energy to get through the night, especially since Jack didn't really sleep too great in our last morning stretch today. But I wanted to kind of fill you guys in on what's changed in our house, how unpacking is going, and just kind of give you guys a little bit of some updates. Now I hope to eventually get to organizational videos and all of that, but we are still not done packing and partly or mostly because of the fact that I am at home with two kids all day with a newborn or you know a two month old who requires a lot of my time and energy. And it's hard for me to just even get one box done, <laughs> to be honest. I'm trying to entertain Aubrey and even with all the toys, I only really get a small portion of the day where I am kid free. And a lot of the times I just kind of want to rest at that point, but I am trying to plug away at the boxes that we have left. Now, as you can see behind me, we mounted our TV. That is probably one of the biggest changes in this living space. Aside from the fact that Juan has moved all of the boxes to the garage, so it makes our living space feel a little bit more inviting and less overwhelming, but it is still overwhelming thinking about all of the boxes that are in the garage that I still need to go through. And some of them are some kitchen supplies that I need to find a space for in this relatively small kitchen. We've also had a bunch of issues that some are still have yet to be resolved. So we are still waiting on getting internet for our house. It's been about a week and a half since we tried to get internet and the internet company is like trying to use a little snake to get the wires, but they can't get it. And today the um, home builder people they came and they were just gonna do something called like blowing out the line or something. Well, they blew out the line, I'm assuming in the wrong direction because we have a bunch of like water damage now to the side of our house, which is a pain in the butt. So we're gonna have to get brand new drywall for our garage. And I think they're gonna be coming tomorrow to fix that. So I'm, I'm like, I'm sick of having people come to our house, to be honest, like I just want to, be here and be able to like nurse and not have to worry about, oh, will the person come to the door or anything like that. So we still have yet to get internet, which has been, you know, getting you guys content has been very difficult. I've had to go to Starbucks and it takes forever to upload. And then I'm rushing back because Jack is hungry and it's, it's just been a nightmare. So if I need to take a day off, I hope you guys can understand. But anyways, I'm hoping that we will get internet soon so that I can stress less about actually the uploading process and all of that stuff. So we're getting that drywall fixed tomorrow. Uh, today we had someone come out and fix our shower. Now I thought originally our shower was going to just be one piece. Of shower but it was two pieces and right where the two pieces connected we could essentially like put our hand up in between the pieces it was the top one was a little warped so today a guy came in and like screwed the top piece so that it actually went into the wall covered it with like silicone and paint and all that stuff and and hopefully fixed the problem the only concern though is that because that top piece wasn't flush to begin with what are three screws gonna do you know in the long run we only have a year to really make these claims and get them fixed well what if in a year and a half that little tiny quick fix you know busts and then now it's on us to fix it so that's kind of the concern but you know right now it looks like it's a good fix so i'm hoping that 
that will be good enough and will last us a really long time until we have the means and the wants to, you know, redo our master bath. We also got some ceiling fans finally installed. We did pay for them uh, for our house and they just didn't have them ready until after we moved in. So that has been nice to have like just some better air circulation in our house. And I like to sleep with a fan on, so it's kind of nice to have that in our room. I, I find it relaxing. So one of the last little tiny things uh, that I've been doing kind of is whenever I play with a toy that seems to capture Aubrey's attention really well, I do now tuck it away and put it away out of her room so that now I have like ammo, like, oh, I need you to be busy for a little while. Let me get this toy that I know that caught your attention. And so now her toys in her room are dwindling, but there's still way too many of them but I have the special ones kind of tucked away as I find them or as I discover that she really likes them. I've been tucking them away to make my life a little bit easier rather than having it be like a sensory overload for her. So that kind of, I think, wraps up a lot of the big, you know, updates. As far as upcoming videos, I did film uh, kind of one doing our garage. So I want to show you guys that process. So that will probably be one video. I do want to share how I planned my kitchen organization or you know, cabinet organization prior to unpacking just to make life easier so that I don't have to redo it later. So that's gonna be another video as well. And I really think my method makes everything flow nicely. So I hope you guys are excited about that. And then obviously a much more detailed like kid toy organization, uh, you know, seasonal rotation type video because we've got a lot of toys here. But that wraps up today's video. I'd like to thank you guys again for watching and supporting my channel and supporting me as I go through this very hectic and stressful time. I appreciate your patience as we wait for internet and you know, as I try to get content out for you guys, I don't want to disappoint. I actually haven't missed a Monday or Friday in my years of YouTube, so I don't really want to have to skip. So thank you for your patience if I do, but hopefully I won't have to. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And uh, I think if, if I didn't say it already, if you guys are new here and just stumbling upon my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe and see all that I have to offer. And uh, share with you guys in this new house with my growing family. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.